Why don't you do something useful instead of cleaning up? Your you know, pick that up. Ricky is here. Sean and Ricky, could you just? Please? Sean's my son. Yes, he's our son. Okay. And yeah, I... and he's staying with me. <sighs> There are two kids here, please. That's why I have to beat you please. down again. Would you stop it, please? Enough of this. No. You better get the hell out of here. Just go! Oh this is empty! Why are you giving me empty beer? You can't be drinking anymore, Ian! Get a beer! Ian! Get out! I'm tired of this! I'm leaving you. This is over! Always tired of your nonsense flapping your trap. Get out! I'm leaving Just go! I'm leaving you! Better go. You better get moving. Ian's being really difficult. It's, it's really nothing. Is he beating you again? Yes, it's... You've got to leave. I'm, I'm leaving. Where's Sean? I promise I'm... Where's Sean? Oh my god, he's upstairs. See the game and everything. Good. Holy smoke. Look at that. It's a smoke coming out of that place up there. A lot. You think there's... There must be a fire. Oh my god. Look at that. Hello? Hello? Uh, yeah, um, there, there's smoke coming out of this window on, on Main, Main Street. Street yeah. on, on Main Street. They're in the house, and he's in the house, Yeah. and he's beating you? Yeah. Okay, okay. What are we going to do? We've got to go. We've got to go get them. Attention DuPage Fire, attention DuPage Fire, District 11, full still for inside smoke investigation, 123 Main Street. The following companies are due to the scene. Battalion 1, Truck 1, Squad 12 is already on the scene. Fire department, call out! Right here. Mike I've got Stewie. a patient there and a patient there. Right? Uh, Mike Stewie. Check her. My son is upstairs. My son. I don't care about me. Please save my son. We're going to take care of everything. No. They're here to take care of you. How old are you? 2019. 29. Hey, we're here. What, what do you got? Kind of in this position. Looks like he's got major bleed in the back. He's responding, but he's not he's not alert. Bro, what's going on? Can you hear me? Check the pupils for me. Right people with pearl, left people with Okay. Check his I'm going to roll one more time, guys. One, two, three. Sim Hospital. This is Ambulance One. We had a victim fall from a uh, two-story building. He is an eight-year-old boy. He um, is only responsive to pain. He has uh, femur fractures. The right one is closed. The left one is open. Oh, we got a, uh, a ten-minute ETA. Yeah, 
my guys, load her in the ambulance. We'll All get right. that done in there. Yeah, let's find a better place for that oxygen tank. Yo, her vitals are sinking. We gotta. <laughs> All right, we gotta go. All right, let's go. Only the ambulance is supposed to go. Okay, if I take this. So what's the update? Um, so we called it in. Uh, he had a femur fracture. The right one's closed. The left one's open. He has a pelvic. We felt captures on his right pelvis. At 928, we innovated. It was 19 at the teeth. On the way over, uh, he lost his pulse, so we started compressions. He's eight year old. His name's Ricky. Uh, police are supposed to contact parents. What's the statute, John? Don't have it yet. Two, two. Don't have it yet. Three. We're gonna roll. We're gonna roll on three. Ready? One, two, three. Check your back. Get it on there. Get it ready? Go. One, two, three. Right now. Or you can roll this one. So. Okay. Let's roll that one more thing over here. Hi, Amy. This is um, Ambulance 3. His pulse is 60. Respiration is very shallow, the eight, and um, there's no pupil response at the moment. Um, our ETA is 10 minutes. Where are we right now? You're in the hospital, Cheryl. You're doing great. Uh, last intake is unknown. We have around 15 liters of O2 via non rebreather mask. Uh, she also has uh, IV going into her left AC. We're just running normal saline in there right now. Hello, well, Cheryl. My name is Marla. I'm Morgan. We're going to be a nurse today. We're going to take really good care of you. Don't be scared. We're going to check on him. We're going to take good care of him. One, two, three. Okay, and you're right. Um, we have no pulse now. We have a pulse. One, two, three. Can you guys get a report for us? Someone yeah, he was um, unresponsive when we found him. Someone want to take a Yeah, I got it. He was unresponsive when we found him, but he was breathing shallow with eight respirations. And during transport, he went pulseless and um, was no longer breathing, so he started chest compressions. He fell from a building after jumping out from a fire. It was on fire. I'm gonna listen to his lung sounds. Yeah. How's he sound? There's ra a little bit of rails going on. Anybody know if he's breathing out on his own? Gonna tell. Okay, we have a heart rate. A heart rate's 59. O2 sat. It's 97 percent. He did have a seizure. Now, does he have any history of seizures? No, he's never had a seizure before. Never had a seizure no. before. Okay. But now we're going to do everything we can to stabilize him. Okay. Are the nurses? Yes. Yeah. We got Mrs. Riley here. Hi, Riley. Mrs. Riley. I'm Alicia, the Hi. nurse. This is Teresa, the other nurse. How's he doing? He's stabilized. Right now. We're giving him IV fluids to help bring up his blood pressure. We've elevated sure. his legs. We're going to be bringing him for to have a scan done. Thank you. scan. Okay. Check for and then after that, we're going to go to OR. Okay. We're going to take care of the pain. So let's get her some. Do you want to some Surgery. Okay, we're going to have you sign a form and then we're going to get you some pain medication, okay? Alright, I have your mask for you, okay? Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm going to take away your pain. It won't 
will help with the pain. All right. So before you go to the surgery, I'm just going to insert a tube in your nose. It's called the nasogastric tube, and it's going to go to your stomach, okay? Okay, why? Because since you had a gunshot wound, we're going to have to get all the, the bleeding or the gastric con or the, the contents from your stomach out, okay? Okay. Okay. Does it hurt? It's not going to hurt, but it will be uncomfortable. Still unresponsive. Plus, it has pulses and check pupil. We're reacting to light in the combination. Ultra saturation is at 88%. 88, okay. Mm -hmm. Let's try and get that up to 94. Okay. Is he responsive at all? Not responsive, but pulses are uh, weak, but they're. Ready for switch? Yep. Sean, I'm just going to stick this in, okay? All right. Swallow. Okay. Keep breathing, deep breaths. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh. All right, like I said, just listen to the breathing instruction, okay? Body, um, no loose teeth. It's a beautiful day to save lives. We have, uh, what do we have for suture? We have uh, any ethylon, any nylon? Uh, 4 0. Blood pressure, 112 pulse, 92% on her accident. Uh, please tell me. Cheryl, I'm Dr. Cassidy. We're going to take good care of you, okay? Coding? With the crash We're going to crash cart. Clear. Clear. It's vital to come back. Just stabilizing. We want to hear from the students and the faculty. I know there were some hiccups. Let's try to keep it positive, constructive. It was a great experience, um, especially since I myself haven't been out of the field yet. So going from the EMS mentality and going on to the um, like ER side, it was great to see that aspect of it. And for you guys to be presented today with multiple victims, you can tell you really relied on the training that you've received in our program throughout the years, and I just think you guys did an exemplary job. I'm just uh, blown away, honestly. Jean, Gene, Dr. Carjay said the toys, and it was person after person that I would turn to, who were calm and collected. If you didn't know something, I didn't, you fooled me. This is the second time I've scrubbed in, and both times uh, I, I echo Joe Cassie's comments that uh, the students are so professional. I can't believe that the students have only been there for three months. It's incredible. You are all so compassionate. You're such compassionate caregivers. And really, you can be binding things, you can be wrapping things, you can be sticking with needles and foleys and all those things and do it flawlessly and until you're blue in the face. But really what matters is you're taking care of a real person and a human being. And you guys were so wonderful at that. And I have to applaud you on that, especially. As Donna said, we want to be able to do exercises like this, at least on the early basis. 
Um, and, and hopefully every year ratchet it up to something different.